Hey everybody, I want to show you real quickly how you can use some of the resources that have been pushed out to Schoology as we begin to transition into uh, a continuity of instruction. So uh, in this particular example, there is an online exercise portfolio assignment. In Schoology, this little pencil icon uh, indicates an assignment. But what we did was we created some very basic assignments, so it doesn't fully build out the assignment. So I just want to show you how to rebuild this. In this particular exercise, the students are going to make a copy of this Google slide deck, do the exercises, learn to perform it, record themselves performing the activity, and add the video to the appropriate slide. I've made another uh, series of videos on how students can do that. Uh, please check um, for the link for that, and we'll be we'll make sure that you have that information. But for this one, what I want to show you is when you uh, copy this into your Schoology course, if you're going to use this assignment, the resource has been uh, linked from inside of here. So I am going to uh, click that and you are going to be prompted to uh, create a copy of it. So I'll hit make a copy. And so up here it says copy of online exercise portfolio and then I'll just say um, you know, Bolino online exercise portfolio. And uh, you can see I've been playing with this. I'm going to get rid of that. That's from the previous video. So now I've got a copy of the Bolino online exercise portfolio. This is mine, <clears throat> my copy. It's not anybody else's. So I've got this made. So what I want to do is since I've got this um, into my, uh, my um, Schoology, I want to come over here to this gear and I want to edit this. So I'm editing the assignment. So even though the slide deck is up here, um, I don't want students to do that because what happens a lot of times is they they don't put it somewhere, they forget where they put it. Uh, but to make things more simple, we're going to use the Google Drive assignments option here. So I'm going to, to delete it and I'm just simply going to just take out step number one altogether. Um, and they have to do this, uh, the 16 fitness activities. So I want to attach this Google Drive um, document to the Google Drive assignment. So I click on the button. When it comes up, I need to search for it. Uh, and actually it came up right away. This is the latest one I've had. So I'm going to just select that. If, if it doesn't come up right away, I'll just type Bellino online. That's probably enough. It'll search my Google Drive for it. And there it is right there. I click on it and then I just attach it. Now, as of right now, Schoology will only allow you to attach one Google document of any kind at a time. Uh, so any other additional resources that you want to use with the students, the best place to do it is to link to it, uh, copy and paste the link to the Google document, type the name of the Google document here. But for now, we don't need that. We're going to set the due date. Uh, I'm going to set it for April 3rd. It's Let's just say it's um, 16 times 4 is, let's, say it's, let's just say it's 100 points. Um, I can call this homework. Um, whatever, we right now, as of right now, we don't know exactly what type of um, expectations there are for in terms of grades, but as you know, Schoology does a great job of assigning grades. And so when I save the changes, what this will do it is we'll make a copy of this document in your Google, I mean, sorry, in Schoology for all of your students. And so I'm going to hit save changes and then it will uh, save it. So I open up the online exercise portfolio assignment and now it looks a little bit different. And what you're going to see are three tabs across the, st across the top here. Here's the instructions. There is a link that goes directly to the portfolio just so that you can see the master document. But what it does, and this is just a test account, so I just have my son and two test accounts. It will list all the students and what they are doing, and you will see a live update as they work on it. You can check on it here. It will actually give you the opportunity to add comments to the document, uh, but until they um, uh, open it, it will not show up here. So once they start working with it, it will show up here. When they submit it, it will be up here in the submissions area, and then you can review it, grade it, score it. Um, there's other videos on how to attach a rubric to assignments. Um, that, that's not going to be covered in this video, but in another video. So that's how you get a Google document um, 
linked to your assignment, which makes it easy for the students to turn in, and that makes it easier for you to uh, receive the work back from them. So I hope this is helpful.